thinking a lot about everything the Lord has been showing me and my daughter Sky and all the saints and all the you know true prophetic saints just thinking about everything I've seen and, and we've seen and the Lord has been showing me that a shift is coming a major shift and I've posted dreams about that I'll put them in the description box and so I was just trying to put all that together like you know the shift and then I've been seeing three days of darkness coming and I've been seeing you know with my daughter's dream pestilence and all of these acid rain and all of this stuff coming so I've been just putting this together and I was sitting here pondering and the Lord told me to record this so I don't know if I'm recording it to release it or just recording it for myself for my memory I don't know but anyway when I had one dream of the shift coming and I think I did two videos about it at least I have did vid different videos about the shift but these particular ones were on a boat and one of them I saw the rise of the Antichrist there was a rise of the Antichrist and it was because his weapons were so advanced and I was just waking up I don't know if I really did a great job explaining that how advanced his weapons were I have to I haven't seen the video in a while but let me just tell you like I was specifically shown it was all these bombs in America and I knew I was in America and it was underneath the ground like people didn't know they was there and I was shown this one man. He looked African American. It was one man. And he pushed a button or pulled a switch or something. He had some kind of box. And he was a he was a military man. He was dressed in a uniform. And instantly it just blew up places all over America. Just it was these explosions going off everywhere. It was complete chaos. People was running in all directions, didn't know what was happening. And it was a very small army. God literally showed me that. It was, I can't even explain to you, but they had some very advanced weapons. Their weapons were so advanced, it was more advanced than the other armies. Like, it was no comparison. And they instantly, the Antichrist army took over America. And I've, I've listened to dreams that I've done. And I haven't really explained that because I don't know why that is. But let me let me tell you right now what I'm talking about. I haven't explained a lot of times when I'm talking about the police and I'm talking about martial law and things like this. I'm not thinking about the police that we have today. Let me make sure I say that clearly because I have not said that clearly. I'm not thinking about the police we have today, the martial law, and I'm talking about martial law. I'm not thinking about the, you know, all the local establishment we have today because I saw the Antichrist army came in like a flood and they just took over. Now, will they work with the local municipalities that we have? I don't know. But when I, I just want to make sure I clear that up. When I talk about that, I'm not talking about what, what is in place right now. I'm talking about the Antichrist martial law. I'm talking about the Antichrist police. Okay? So anyway, the point I want to make is that after I saw this small his small army come in and take over everything, and I saw the shift come, and I saw there were judges, like the Lord literally let me see this. It was the lo local, you know, I don't know if I want to use the word municipalities because I saw like judges and lawyers. I saw people that were in that were leaders. They were supposed to be in and the and the dream show literally said judges as well. So anyone that was supposed to be I wouldn't say anyone, but it was people that were supposed to be the leaders of the world, like the leaders. And and I say world, but in the dream it focused in on America. And it was the leaders. And I saw these leaders go into captivity. And they went into these FEMA type uh, ships. 
they went into like FEMA type ships and yeah, I did like at least two videos explaining that and I'll put them in the description box. And so anyway, I saw the shift come to, to myself It's focused in on myself and that, in those particular dreams, but I know from other dreams, it was all the true saints. Like it was not people that was lukewarm. It was not people that was straggling the fence, believing they can sin any old kind of way and they just going to jump into heaven. It wasn't anybody like that. Like God literally has shown me that I cannot tell you how many times. And I, I'm, I'm so serious about this. I just want to make a very serious statement. Like I don't understand why people who think that way are even on my channel. If you believe in my prophecies at all, why would you be here? And I, and, and if you believe in once saved, always saved. Because God has shown me multiple times that that group will definitely be left in the tribulation. When I say left in the tribulation, to me, that encompasses everything. It encompasses rapture and it encompasses unprotection. Like even if all the saints are here, when I say left in the tribulation, I'm talking about they will not be protected. So they, there will be no protection for them, no rapture, no nothing. Okay. Because God has shown me that multiple, multiple times. So getting into the point that I'm trying to make is that I saw the shift come. God has shown me the shift many times, but it was after the rise of the Antichrist. When I was, I was sitting here putting all my dreams together, just really thinking about that. It was after the rise of the Antichrist. And I know some people will say, well, we're not going to be here. And they say, well, you know, we're going to be raptured. And I, like I said, again, because now it's a separate group I'm talking about. I'm not going to argue with anybody. I'm just saying what God showed me. Now, is it the rapture and all of that? You know, uh, I guess it could be whatever. But honestly, to be honestly, brutally honest, I don't think so. I'm just going to be honest. I really don't think so. But there is a shift that's coming and the saints will be shifted from what the Lord has shown me. Some, many of us, if not all of us will get gifts from the Lord. And that's just exactly the way he's, he's shown it to me gifts. Now you can interpret that to whatever the Lord tells you. And then there will be financial rewards as well. Is what the Lord has shown me. And there is a new currency that will come. The Lord has shown me that. And the Lord showed my daughter Sky that as well. In her recent dream. I did two videos about her dream already. And I'm already planning to do a third. But she's been over her dad's house. And I'm waiting on her to come back. Because with children. They don't usually tell you the whole story right away. I, <laughs> They just don't. So after I did the second video and she watched it, she's like, oh, yeah, you know, there was a new currency and there was this and that and this and that. I was like, what? <laughs> so I have to most likely make a third video, but there will be a, a new currency. OK, that's coming. And I can tell you this right now. The currency that's coming will be unlike any currency that we have in place. And I'll have to explain more of that in that video. But anyway, what I've seen is a shift that is coming. And I want to talk about how does this relate to the three days of darkness? You know, God shows us everything in like sin darkly and pieces, pieces, pieces here, a little piece here, a little piece there. And what he showed me about the darkness, I've had dreams and I literally listened to them today because I'm just really putting all this together. And the Holy Spirit is teaching me right now and leading me. And I was told to watch videos that I did about God visiting us on the second day of the darkness. Because I've did at least two videos on that. I've actually I've done more than that, more than two. But I watched the two I've done. Um, I watched two of my videos today. And in those dreams, even with the darkness, on the second day, the saints was giving gifts. And Jesus visit us. He's, and in the Bible, it's the scripture says how he will revive us on the second day. He will revive us. And I know a lot of people translate that to say rapture. But like I said, we see through a glass darkly. And do not assume that I have all the answers. I'm telling you guys what 
I think based on what the Holy Spirit is teaching me. I do not have the whole picture. I don't think any of us do in this whole world. I'm just telling you the pieces that I'm putting together from what God is teaching me. And I saw that he was visiting me on the second day to revive me. And I saw how he was visiting. I had one dream. I saw a friend of mine, how he, he went and visit her as well. And God was showing me how he's visiting the saints, the true saints, and was giving us gifts. We was giving gifts this second day. Praise God. And I believe all of this is tied in together. The darkness that's coming, the rise of the Antichrist, getting gifts, getting this shift change. All of this, I believe, is tied together. And like I said, I personally don't think it means the rapture, what I'm talking about right now. I don't think so. Now, could I be wrong? I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I don't I don't think it's the rapture. I believe based you know i'm just going to summarize what i'm trying to say i believe that we will see the darkness the three days of darkness i believe it will have something to do with the rise of the antichrist and i believe that on that second day god will visit us and the and he will give us gifts and there will be a shift and and i was thinking about moses as well you know with moses moses when he went up to the mountain he was transformed in a way. He got like a part of his transformation when God transformed his face. And they said his face was so bright. He had to talk to the people inside of a tent. They could not even look at him. And I talked about before how my daughter saw him in heaven and he had that same face in heaven. She said his face was so bright. She could not hardly look at him, but she said she was able to get glimpses of him. And she said that uh, because of all the light, she could only see like glimpses of his face. And she said that he was old, but he looked young. And when she had that experience, she was like four years old. So the fact that she said he was old, but he looked young was very interesting to me. And but it, it was God teaching me later uh, after that, maybe a year after that, when God gave me the revelation that, oh, my, that's that happened when he was on the earth. So he got part of his transformation when he was on the earth still. And then he went and, you know, he had his staff and he led his flock and God showed me doing the same thing. God showed me doing the same thing with my staff leading my flock that he's given me and another thing that i probably won't talk about in a third video is my daughter also saw that i was with my staff so uh, that was very interesting to me when she said that to me but i don't want to go into that if god ever leads me to go into it i will it's just it's personal to me anyway the point is God has been showing me these similarities between Moses and, and the point I'm making is he got a piece and then he was able to complete his ministry. And then after he died and went to heaven, he got the whole transformation. So, but he got some gifts while he was on the earth. And we know also the Bible says that Moses at one point when he decided to make um, other leaders to help him, with his flock that the Bible says that he transformed, I mean, not transformed. He, he, uh, he gave them some of his anointing. Like he was able to, and that's a gift. Actually, a lot of people read that and they just, you know, <laughs> just overlook it. But he was, he actually gave them some of his anointing, some of his power, some of his, you know, his blessing. He gave it to them. That we can't do that as humans today. That's a supernatural gift. So he was definitely gifted. Okay. So I was just thinking about that. Like, is that what it's going to be like for us? Is God going to give the true saints these supernatural abilities? Or, you know, what is that going to look like? I don't know. But it because the dreams keep saying gifts, gifts, gifts. I don't know. But I know for a fact that God has shown me a monetary blessing that is coming. He has shown me that point blank that is, is definitely tied to this monetary system. And there will be a new currency. So anyway, 
just in summary, what I think the three days will happen, three days of darkness, rise of the Antichrist, Jesus visiting us. I mean, uh, wait, three days of darkness. Yeah. Rise of, with the red, rise of the Antichrist. Jesus visiting us the second day to give us gifts. And I think that we will use these gifts while we, the time we on the earth. I don't know how long that'll be. Like some people may say, oh, you know, I've heard it. I've heard some people say it's one day. It could be one day. <laughs> I don't think so. I honestly, personally, I might have even said that before that I thought it was one day, but I don't think so. I think it's more than one day, but I don't know. And I think we'll be here for, for some time. And I don't know how long. Is it a couple of weeks? Is it 10 days? Is it, you know, is it years? I don't know, but... I'm not worried about it because God has shown me multiple, multiple times how happy this period will be. Even in my daughter's dream, she said that we was happy. We was playing games. And, you know, I asked the point blank, was I happy? She said, yes, yeah, she was happy. And we was just having a good time. So it wasn't, you know, a horrible thing. Psalms 91, though a thousand shall fall by my side and 10,000 by my right hand. No evil shall come nigh me. Okay. So, you know, I don't know what's all going on in the world and everything like that. We're seeing some atrocities with this coronavirus stuff. And I have to say this too. And I want to say this very delicately. But the the president of China, he did make a, a statement that he was going to change the Bible to reflect socialist views. Okay. I'll put that video in the description box if I can hunt it down. He made that statement. He was going to change the Bible. And then all of a sudden, all this hell broke loose in China. And that's the God in heaven on his truth. He made it. He made it the statement. Pure hell breaks loose in his country. So, Look, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say, I'm not trying to judge these people, but I literally did look up the statistics and in Wuhan, the percent of Christians was like less than 2%. And then the percent of Christians in all of China is less than 2% or about 2%. So it's not many Christians there. So, you know, really pray for these people, salvation. And that's what I'm praying every single day, every single day, fasting and praying, praise God. And I ask you all to join me in fasting and praying for these people and for everybody, not just them. I'm praying for everybody that is being victimized and and they need salvation. These people are not calling out to God. I've seen video. I have a whole playlist on the coronavirus. And if you all haven't seen it, watch it. Watch these. See what's really going on. Stay away from the mainstream media. They're not telling the truth about what's going on over there. But when you watch these videos, I want you to pay attention to something. See how many people are praying and calling on the name of Jesus. And you will see the number is, I will say, zero. Zero percent. And that really, really troubles me. Everything that they're going through is bad enough, but to die and go into eternity without God and, and face hell, that is, that is really troubling me right now. And I'm mentioning all of this because when we are on the earth during this shift change, I think we will see things like that, you know, according to Sky's dream, you know, there was... There was death. There was mayhem. There was chaos, even though we was protected. But all of these things was happening around us. And we want to be prayerful. What I cannot stand and what I do not want to hear and do not make comments like this, like, oh, who cares? They just getting God's judgment. It's a good thing. I've heard nonsense like that. I have no tolerance for that. I have no tolerance for that. That is an insensitive work of Satan. That is a person that is, has the devil in them. Because as human beings with a human soul, when a person dies and faces eternity, it's no laughing matter. The Bible says, do not rejoice 
over other people's calamities. So we are not to do that. That is the devil. We should be feeling bad for anybody that doesn't have Christ and that is facing eternity in hell. That is the will of God. We are to be compassionate. Jesus Christ came to this earth and he died for people like that. So who are we to condemn them? He gave his life for us. He died for us while we were yet sinners. And he saved my soul. He saved our soul. When we weren't even trying to be saved. I wasn't trying to be saved when God saved my soul. So who are we to condemn this country? Anybody with an attitude like this will be completely blocked from my channel immediately. I'm going to tell you that right now. Do not make, and some people have already been blocked. Do not make comments like that on my channel. I have no tolerance for it at all. Anybody with a human soul, we should be praying for them. We should be caring for them. And especially when we see, like Sky has seen, this stuff is coming into American soul. And she's not the only one that's seen it. I've seen it as well. And others have seen it. Even my oldest daughter, when she was prophetic and everything, she even had a dream where she saw this invasion come. And she said it looked like Chinese troops. They was dropping out of the sky like in parachutes, like on that movie Red Dawn. It was just, it was not just Chinese. It was, I think she's, I got to watch the video again. It might've been Russia as well, but I know I've seen Russian troops as well. But anyway, the point I'm making is we can't be saying aha, aha to other countries when the same stuff is coming to our country. I was looking into the black death that happened back in the 1300s. It started in China, 25 million people. I want you to pay attention to this, how history repeats itself. Listen to what I'm saying, please people died in China and then you know the rest of the world how was they feeling was they feeling like a lot of people are today oh that's China oh who cares you know whatever blah 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 and not even understanding that they was about to go through way worse than China 25 million people died there and then the disease spread. And guess where it spread? It spread throughout Europe, throughout every all, all these lands. It spread all, all everywhere. And then it ended up with 200 million people that died. So China only lost 25 million, but 200 million. So that's 175 million more people in other countries that was looking at them saying probably the same stuff that they saying today and they didn't even know that it was coming to their land and it is coming to this land i've been praying to god um one of the things i'm fasting and praying about is for direction on whether whether or not he wants me to release a vision that i saw because i'm just going to go ahead and say it Wow, I just I felt tears in my eyes. I did a video where I discussed the coronavirus. And I talked about an image where this guy said that he saw you know, all these people dropping dead. And it was in Portuguese. And I couldn't translate it, you know, um, the video. Actually, I didn't even have the video anyway. Somebody just told me about it. And I had a vision, I want to say maybe three or four days ago. And I saw on American soil, God showed me that image. And that's how it was it's going to look in America. And I saw all these bodies just laying out on the street. I saw some people walking and body, people was just dropping dead. Boom, 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 just dropping dead. And the vision said coronavirus. And that's why I was like, Oh God, I don't want to, I don't want to post that. Like I need confirmation before I post that one. But then I was thinking about it and in, in prayer, even though I said coronavirus, it doesn't necessarily mean it's this wave of coronavirus. It could be another wave in the future. I don't know. Or it could mean this wave. So I've been asking God to give me clarity. Like, is this really gonna happen with this wave that we're seeing right now i don't know and you know i don't know what's going on but people are dropping dead over there i want you to understand this 
Don't look at the mainstream media. People are literally walking and just dropping dead all of a sudden. And another thing that Sky saw in her dream, there was a there was no water and there was no uh, electricity. There was electricity shortage, rather, I'll put it that way. In China right now, they have just announced they have no water in Wuhan. They they have an, a water shortage. They no water, and then there's also no electricity right now, and there's no food. They they stopped providing them food the way the government was giving them food before. I think they said to last for like two weeks. They stopped giving them food now. And on top of that, the government just announced that the people are now, they have to fend for themselves, that the communities need to take care of themselves. If anybody is sick in their community, that they need to take care of the sick in their community. And I saw one video about this one community was going around with a blow horn looking for the sick saying, you know, come to us right now or you're going to be in trouble if you're sick or some something silly like that. And so the communities there are feeling abandoned. Like the government is just abandoning them. Things are so bad. Uh, it's so much. I would have to make a, a whole video, another video, which I don't plan to do right now to explain to you guys how bad it is over there. You have no idea. The mainstream media is not reporting the truth of what's going on over there. The truth is in those people that's over there suffering who are videotaping things and putting it on social media for us to see the truth. I'm pointing out all this stuff about Wuhan because this is the same type of things that me and my daughter and others have seen is going to come to America as well and other parts of the world. And I believe that the pestilence will hit America before everything else. Now that is what I believe and you can take it to God in prayer because you know this is something that I believe. I don't know for fact. And I believe that also based on scripture but that's another video to go over the scriptures and everything and point out what you know why I believe that way. I got so many confirmations from the Lord to share this video but in terms of the rapture we don't know when the rapture is going to be. I don't want anybody to get upset. Well, you put the rapture last, you know. I don't know when the rapture is going to be. I've said that a million times. I don't know when. The Only God the Father can determine when the rapture is going to be. This is, as I believe, the way it's going to happen. So, I just want to reiterate as well. For the saints, do not fear. Do not worry. Do not fret. God has us. You know, we are going to go up during all this chaos and if you read the word of God seriously read especially I love the stories in the Old Testament and you will see time and time again how the wicked were punished even those people professing to be saints were greatly punished but God would protect the true saints of God even in the time of Maccabees the Maccabean revolt those people were living in a cave they were not down with the people being destroyed and murdered and being forced to worship demons, they w they wasn't in that. It was like, my name is Bennett and I'm not in it. You know, and so they was doing well. They was doing excellent. Even though those people that were lukewarm and sinners, they was really suffering. And that's the same way it's been done time and time again. Oh my goodness, I can do a whole video on that. It'll probably be an hour long at least. I can go through the Bible and show you time and time again how that has happened. So if you are truly right with God, that is what you need to focus on. Don't put your faith in weapons. Don't put your faith in man. Don't put your faith in the government to save you. You know, you have got to trust in the Lord your God and he will protect you. And we have no reason to fear. Do not be afraid. Anyway, I love you all so, so much. If you are righteous, this is a happy video. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Praise God, because God is going to take care of his own. I love you all. Bye.